There he goes. One of the many shad here at Port Washington. My name is Derek Salmon, and I love fish. All different kinds, big and small. I'm on a quest to learn about every species of fish that lives in the state of Wisconsin. So come join me on Badgerland Fishes. Hey everybody, I'm here in Port Washington and I am going to be talking about an interesting phenomenon that happens in the winter with a species of shad in Wisconsin. A couple weeks ago I was walking around the Port Washington Harbor and noticed a lot of fish were at the surface in distress. Some were swimming upside down, others were jumping and having trouble swimming lower in the water column, and some were even dead. A lot of animals were feeding on these fish and I was curious about what was going on. After doing some research, I found out that this is an annual die-off event that occurs with gizzard shad in Wisconsin. Curious to learn more, I'm back with some tools to help me take a closer look in order to better understand this yearly event. Alright, it's very cold, but the first thing I'm going to do is try to net one of these shad. After walking around the harbor, I noticed the fish seemed to be congregating by the shoreline. Alright, so we're looking at the shad right here. And shad are actually members of the herring family. And in Wisconsin, they're at the northern part of their range. So they're not really equipped to deal with the temperature changes. So at a place like Port Washington, where you have the warm water outflow, it can uh, affect them when the temperatures change because the other water is very cold. So that, or like a heavy warm rain or something like that, they're very susceptible to that. And so that's why a lot of them are struggling. They look diseased. According to the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, 2016 was a good year for shad, and the large amount of young, along with a mild winter in 2017, allowed them to grow. With the high amount of shad and harsh winter this year, many will not survive. The die-off does not have anything to do with water quality, dissolved oxygen levels, or pollution. It's simply a natural cycle since the shad are in the northern part of the range and aren't equipped to deal with such cold temperatures. You may also be familiar with another member of the herring family, the alewife. Alewives experience die-off events, but in the spring, after spawning. They're similar to gizzard shad, but are two distinctly separate species. So this is where we're going to keep our shad, temporarily. <laughs> Alright, so this is a shad that we netted, and you can see he's got some fungal stuff going on, which kind of just tells you about their condition. Gizzard shad are named for their gizzard-like stomach and can grow to over 20 inches in length. They are rarely caught on rod and line since they are omnivorous. They also take in sand, which helps to grind up food in their stomach. In fisheries, they serve as an important food source for other fish. Juvenile gizzard shad have a dark spot on their shoulder which fades as they reach maturity. The adult's body is compressed laterally and is silver or blue on the side. The last dorsal fin ray is long and whip-like and the tail is deeply forked. They have a rounded head and do not possess any teeth. are really a boom or bust species, especially here in Wisconsin, because uh, because of the die-off, there aren't always a lot to replenish the population, but uh, the few individuals can lay a lot of eggs, so it's those that actually replenish the population. Spawning occurs on spring nights in shallow water. Females will mate with multiple males and can produce up to 400,000 eggs that hatch in two to four days. The female does not care for the young after the eggs are laid. The juveniles reach sexual maturity in one year. Now you might be wondering what happens to shad when there isn't any open water. I tracked down Ryan Schmidt, who encountered the scenario in Kakana this winter, and offered to share his video with us. I'm down here in Kakana fishing, and now that all the snow is off the ice, it gives you an idea of what's going on down here with all the shad. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, you gotta check this out, look at this. That's all shad in the ice, everywhere. It's 
far as you can see out that shad laying all over the ice in the ice and down underneath it's crazy then I wondered why when I was tapping holes I was cutting shad in pieces well now that the snow's gone I can totally see it's nuts thankfully for the Port Washington shad there is still open water and maybe just maybe the shad that we caught is going to live on to restart the cycle all over again. There he goes. All in all, gizzard shad play a unique role in the Wisconsin fish community. If there are a lot of them around and the temperature gets too cold or changes too quickly, a die-off can occur, providing food for many different animals. Although some people might see them as a nuisance, they are actually a very beautiful, fascinating fish that you can observe this winter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Fishes. Got the GoPro right in a big school of shad. They're just coming out from everywhere under the rocks.